Hello guys, so today we will be discussing about the course on ethical hacking course. Okay, so in this course you will be learning all those hacking techniques ethically. Okay, so course itself states ethical hacking. It means whatever you will be learning in this course, you don't have to perform illegal operations or illegal things. Okay, mm, the first advice is if you are doing this course, you should not do any illegal things. That is the advice. Otherwise, you will be going to jail. And the th third thing is, which I would like to tell is, there are some uh, things which I will be telling you, which will be very important for you in if you go for some cyber security content, if you want to be a cyber security expert, or if you want to understand how things work in ethical hacking, then this course is for you. This course will give you a head start to do to be a researcher or to be a, a cyber security expert. So these are the topics that I am going to discuss in brief today. So the first topic we have is deep web. So you may have heard of dark web or deep web. Deep web means the websites or the links which you cannot access. Okay, so let me give a brief introduction about what is deep web and dark web. So deep web means, mm, see, like if you, are trying to access a particular website that will be indexed by Chrome and so you will be able to access, access it but you know like 90% of the content in the market or 90% of the internet is not indexed so you will not be able to access those websites all those illegal activities like uh, drugs or illegal things will happen there but what we are doing in this course is ethical hacking means we, we are learning everything ethically so that you can help the society so you can give like you can secure your um, secure your computers you'll be learning all those security features in this course okay coming to the deep web content deep web includes lot of things like uh, there are sites there are various sites which you cannot access using various browsers but i'll be telling you in this course how to access those sites okay coming to the point called in sql injections and vpn SQL injections are certain techniques with which you can break a particular website. Breaking means you can hack a particular website. Okay, nowadays uh, all the website will be secure. They will be having certain security feature which will work with SQL inj injection. But still, there are uh, other ways with which you can use SQL injections and hack a particular website. All those things you will be learning in this course. So, um, this course will give you a head start will give you an added advantage in order to become a cyber security expert or if you want to do some hacking techniques if you want to learn hacking techniques in a quick period of time this course is for you okay coming to the point of vpn vpn means virtual private network so consider like you are trying to access a particular website which is blocked in india but you can access still you can access those sites using vpn all those informations i'll be giving you but uh, the thing is, you should use all those things for the help of society, not for illegal activities. Okay, come in this course, you will be learning about how to create a virtual environment. So why we need first, why we need virtual environment? We need virtual environment because you should not go to all those dark web or dark sites uh, without using virtual environment. See, the thing is, your computer is secure, right? You, you have some important or confidential document in your uh, system. So what you will be doing is you are making secure by including password. So if you will be going straight away to those dark websites or uh, some malicious sites and what will happen? Hackers will be there. Okay. Similar to us, they are also there. Okay. So what they will try to do is they will try to steal the confidential information from your computers. So in order to avoid those conflicts, what we should do is we should you always create a virtual environment. So in this course, you will be learning how to create a particular virtual environment in your system. Okay, so that there will be no problem of all those security. Once you will switch off your virtual environment, it's safe. It's safe to browse the internet. Okay, so you can do anything in virtual environment, but you should not. Okay, the thing is, uh, in order to access deep web, you need some browsers, something you need. Okay, that will not work like uh, security feature states that it will not allow you to uh, use the, um, your main uh, host operating system like your main operating system is called host operating system so it will not allow you to use your host operating system okay now coming to the point of tor and oin concept this is the most important concept that you will be learning okay uh, tor is a browser like if you want to access a particular site 
dark web, basically it is dark web. Like if you want to access those sites, what you have to use is you have to use a Tor browser. Tor browser gives you flexibility to change the IP address, your domain. Okay, so if you're using Tor, um, uh, what will happen? What it will do basically is it will um, the see for every person there will be an IP address. Okay, IP address is the address with which you can find or trace any person. Okay, so what how Tor browser will help you is Tor browser will give you a different IP address. You will be in India, but it, it will give you IP address of different countries. So this is the way with which you will not be tracked if you will be browsing through the deep web or dark web. Okay, so coming to the point of signal jammer and denial, denial of service attack. So see in cyber security, there are various type of attacks, techniques you will be learning in this course. Okay, so um, the first thing is we'll be building several signal jammers. Signal jammer means you can jam a particular signal like Wi-Fi signal. If someone is having a certain Wi-Fi, uh, like if you can if you can see a particular Wi-Fi in particular area, what you can do with this is you can stop that signal. Okay, so your uh, the Wi-Fi of that particular person will be stopped using signal jammer. Okay, so we'll be building all those things in signal signal jammer project okay coming to denial of service attack so this kind of denial of service attack so what you are doing is you are um, sending some fake data to that wi-fi and that wi-fi will stop working unless and until it will get it will be restarted by the person okay so um, these are the things these are the cool things we'll be learning in this project okay now coming to the um, point of website hacking okay so you'll be learning a lot of content see um, what we can access or see is only 90 uh, what almost 20 percent of internet okay we still we cannot access 90 percent of internet using our mobile okay so i'll be telling you how to access those things using your mobile also okay with safety and security okay this course will help you to uh, will help will guide you to get through all those things okay you'll be learning various techniques like sql injections if you want to break a particular website okay see you cannot break a particular website directly but if you want to know how um, hacking actually happens in real world, you will be uh, learning in this course. Okay, website hacking using SQL injection. You will you'll be using SQL queries. What is SQL? SQL means structured query language. You will be using all those queries and you will be inserting all those queries in uh, HTML page or links. Okay, um, you will be learning how CSRF works. CSRF means cross site request forgery. Like, um, okay, you may have noticed this thing like uh, when you will be using, uh, doing online banking, uh, bank uh, application will close if you will not use for 5 minutes. Session will be closed. Why it will happen? All those things you will be learning you in details like why it actually happens because um, it they bank wants you to protect like be protected from the malicious hackers okay they want to be secure they want you to be very secure safe okay that's why they are doing all these things you will be learning all this thing in CSRF which is cross site request forgery okay coming to the point of hacking Wi-Fi content so in this course you'll be learning how to break a particular website okay you'll be learning several techniques techniques which will help you which will guide you to how to hack a particular website okay so i'll be telling you what is the best password what is how to secure your wi-fi how to break a particular wi-fi wi -fi, how to stop a particular wi-fi okay so um, uh, this uh, hacking technique will work with all the wi-fi that is available in the market Okay, uh, now coming to spoofing technique, you will be uh, learning a lot of spoofing. spoofing. Spoofing means copying a particular content. In this course, you will be learning how to copy a particular website so that you can perform a hack hacking technique yourself. All these things will be covered in this entire course of ethical hacking. But remember, this is called ethical hacking course. So you have to do all these things ethically. If you perform this unethically, straight away you will go to jail. That is the content.